بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما كان محمد نبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبي وكان الله بكل شيء عليما أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله آل الله من الآن إلى لقاء يوم رحمة الله أما بعد فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم آية المنافق ثلاث إذا حدث كذب وإذا وعد أخلف وإذا أتمنا خان صدق رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم Dear brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In this lecture Again, I would like to talk about the lie and liar as the second part. In first part, we have talked about the lie and liar from the Quranic point of view and also from the golden saying of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, in his household. Today, in this lecture, I would like to talk about the continuing of this subject and I would like to talk at first about the causes of lying. Why the people they lie? In the second, I would like to talk about the consequences of lying and the dysfunction of the lying. In the third, I would like to talk about the places which we are allowed and we are performed to lie. So these three subjects and these three points we will talk in this lecture. First of all, I would like to talk about this matter, why the people sometimes they lie to each other while it is very obvious and clear and everyone knows it that lying it is a very bad behavior but besides that we see that uh, and we can find in a society that there are some people that they are practicing lying what are the reasons that a person they lie of course there are different reasons for this uh, matter first of all I would like to mention it from the Quranic point of view that Almighty Allah says one of the cause that the people deny that is jealousy. Some of the people of course they have jealous against the others because of the jealousy so the people they lie and now uh, let me recite to you a verse from the Holy Quran which came in the Surah of Yusuf, the verse number is 12. Uh, it is the verse that uh, some of the sons of the Yaqub, they came uh, to their father and they said, أَرْسِلْهُ مَعَنَا غَدًا يَرْتَعْ وَيَلْعَبْ وَإِنَّا لَهُ لَحَافِظُونَ The brothers of the Yusuf, they came before their father and said, O oh my father, send Yusuf with us tomorrow till we should go to a desert and we should play there and we should have a sport there. And of course, we will keep off the Yusuf and we will uh, keep after, look after the Yusuf. So it was lie. And why the lie? To their father what was the reason the reason was jealousy because they thought that uh, the Yaqub their father they like 
Yusuf more than them. That's why, because of this jealousy, so the light and said that we will look after the Yusuf while in reality they did not want that. They did not want to look after the Yusuf and they wanted to either kill the Yusuf or send him in a place that uh, Yaqub could not find him. So it is one of the reasons that the person sometimes lie. The second reason is the Satan. The Iblis. Iblis enforce us that we should lie. And again, there is a verse from the Holy Quran. Almighty Allah says, Hal unabbi ukum ala man tanazzalu shayateen, tanazzalu ala kulli afakin afim. This verse of the Holy Quran, it came in the chapter in the Surah of Shu'ara. The verse number is 222. Almighty Allah says, Do you want that I inform you that why, where the Satan, the Shaitan, where it came and revealed? Tanazzalu ala kulli affakin afim. The Shaitan, the Satan, it revealed and it came and it entered to the heart of those people that they are liar or sinful ala kulli affakin athim it means that uh, one of the places that satan came that is those people who are liars satan came and then invoke them and encourage them to lie more and more ya habib allah يا نبي الله يا رسول الله يا رسول الله. The third reason is this that sin itself it uh, commits us to lie. It encourages us to lie. There is uh, again. A verse from the Holy Quran which came in the Surah of Jasya, the number of the verse is seven. Almighty Allah says, afim. There are some of the people, they are sinful. In this sin, so it invoke and it provoke, it encourage the people that they should lie and curse be upon them that they are lying and they are sinful. The fourth reason is this, the feminine girl. Sometimes we see that some of the people they lie because of this girl, because to deceive the others. So again, there is a famous story which came in the surah of uh, Yusuf when Zulaikha um, she took the Yusuf to a uh, room and they were alone there while the uh, Zulaikha the, uh, she locked all of the doors so when Yusuf wa uh, knew that uh, Zulaikha she wanted a bed and a sin from Yusuf. Then Yusuf rushed to the door while the Zulaikha followed him. And they both went while the, all the doors they unlocked and they became opened till the end. When the end they reached, then uh, Zulaikha took from uh, his shirt, the shirt of Yusuf, from the behind and tear it. So, and when the door became open, then the king and the husband of Zulaikha, uh, he saw them. And this woman, she became very angry. And this uh, situation enforced her that she, uh, she should lie. And she lied and said that, uh, what is the punishment of a person who wants adultery from your uh, from your wife? So it was a lie. And while the Zulaikha she herself wanted 
uh, to commit mistake. But uh, she said that uh, Yusuf wanted this. So if you look to all the situation, you can understand from this story that sometimes because of the feminine feminine girl, so uh, a person can uh, commit mistake and a person can uh, lie. Uh, the other reason, the fifth reason is this, that some of the people, they want to keep their situation. They want to keep their social status and their social uh, position. And because of keeping and saving the social situation and social posi position, so they lie. You know it. That some of the people, while they have a very high position in the society, and they have a very good social status in the society, so because of saving this uh, situation, so maybe if some of the people that they are uh, elder than them and they, their position are higher than them, so if they ask that why have you committed this mistake, so she uh, or he will uh, commit lie and will tell lie to him that I have done this because of that. So it is also a reason for lying. The sixth reason is this, that all the people, they try by nature, it is a naturally thing, by nature all the people, they like to attract the interest and the goodness and to await and to be keep away from the badness and from the harms. It is in our nature. And because of this, some of the people, they are trying to lie. Why? Because to attract the goodness, because to attract the uh, interest. So it is also one of the reason that some of the people, they are doing and they are committing lie. Why? Because they want to attract the benefit. They want to have much, uh, much of the wealth and much of the property. It is also one of the reasons. So these were the reasons that I have uh, told for you. And of course, uh, you know it, that sometimes because of training in the house and the family, because of that we are trying to lie. And that is the main reason. And that is the main cause that we are encouraged to lie. Now, I'll give you an example. Look to a child who, or a baby who has only uh, five or six years old. And he commit mistake. While by nature everyone wants to the truth and everyone likes to tell the truth. It is in our nature. But uh, when this person, this small child and this small baby, when he commits mistake, for example, he breaks um, a glass, a glass of water. Then his mother or his father came and says, who broke the glasses? Then he will say, as by nature he likes the truth, he will say, I have broken it. Then the mother or the father will punish him and will beat him and he will become very angry because he is very small and he does not know a lot of things in the society. So then he thinks, oh, if I tell the truth, this telling truth is not good always. Because if it was good, so my mother I, or my father, they will not punish me. And if they punished me and they beat me, so it is uh, maybe the cause and it can be a reason that go, uh, telling the truth is not good forever. So he will lie in the next time. And the next time if he breaks a glass, if his mother or his father ask him who has broken the uh, glass, he will say that I have not broken it. 
but my uh, brother or my smaller sister she broke it so see that the situation is in a such a way the treatment and the training of the parents war in a such way that uh, the enforced to lie it is also can be one of the reason now the second uh, part of my my discussion is this that what is the consequences of the lying there are of course many bad consequences and many bad dysfunctions for telling lie one is this that unreliability of liar if a person who lie in the society of course there will not be reliability and he will not be reliable person so there is a hadith from imam ali who said man urifa bil kadhibi lam yuqbal sidquhu if a person is known by his false saying by the truth then of course the people will not accept him and the people will reject him and they will not hear and listen to their saying and again there is another saying from our imam who said man urifa bil kadhibi qallat al thiqa if a person is known by his uh, lie then of course no one will rely upon him and he will become disgrace in the society and the group as it is said as sidq najah al kadhib fazah this lying it will be a cause for disgrace and there is another dysfunction for the lying that uh, if we lie then of course almighty allah will take our belief from us and again there is a hadith from imam baqir who said that uh, lying it can destroy the belief the belief of a person and uh, the another Uh, consequence for lying is this that it can take away our honor so it is a saying from our imam who said al kadhibu yuzri bil insan if we lie of course this lying will disgrace us and it is another saying from our imam and there is another consequence that the people will not rely upon us and also there is according to the hadith the lying will which will cause the poverty if we lie then of course the people will not rely upon us and we will become poor persons and another reason is this that if we lie we will forget all the things in many of the things we will forget as it is a hadith from imam sadiq who says ان مما اعان الله به على الكذابين النسيان one of the thing which will be caused for a liar person that is forgetting he will forget a lot of the things the third part of my discussion is about this that we will be alert for some situations that we can lie one of the that situation is that, that when we are put in a necessity and we are uh, forced so of course in uh, if we are in danger so in that uh, case we can lie as uh, it is a hadith from our prophet who said ma min shay'in illa wa qad ahallahu Allah liman isturra ilayhi when we are in force of something and when our body is in danger in that case we can uh, lie 
So in the second plus is this that if there are a quarrel, a dispute between two moments, two believers, so in that plus we can lie in uh, this order, in this aim that these should come together and they should become friends. And there is a hadith from our Prophet, peace be upon him, who said to Imam Ali, it is an advice, لم أسمعه يرخص في شيء مما يقول الناس كذبا إلا ثلاث The people are not allowed to lie to each other except in three places. الحرب when you are in fighting in a war. So there you can lie in order to save yourself and your groups. والإصلاح بين الناس if you want to Bring the peace between two groups or two people, two persons, two believers. So in that case again you can lie. Wa hadithu rajuli imraatahu wa hadithu almaraati zawjaha. Sometimes, rarely, if a husband wants to have a promise with his wife, he can lie. And again vice versa, sometimes the wife, she can lie to her husband but we should note it that we should uh, not lie too much sometimes because it is in a house and one family and sometimes the, our wife or the husband their wants are too much so if we lie rarely so it makes no difference god willing allah help us that we should never lie we, we should never lie through our lives and thank you very much as you have followed this program. I hope that you could use from this golden saying of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him in his household. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma ahmilna fi sufun najatik wa matta'na biladhid munajatik wa awridna hiyad hubbik وأذقنا حلاوة ودك وقربك واجعل جهادنا فيك وهمنا في طاعتك وأخلص نياتنا في معاملتك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين